What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. And as y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button. Go ahead and get it out the way. And subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now, today, man, I won't say it's breaking news because, you know, my name missing no sources. I have no sources whatsoever. I don't know anything, right? A report came out from Mike Benson on Twitter. Um, Mike Benson is a guy, he, I'm not saying he have all the facts. I'm not really sure on that, but I'll say this. He more credible than Mike Capinger. All he does is capitalize and lie and make up things off the top of his head. You know, and a lot of guys take it and they run with it. You know, that's what Mike Capitol do. But Mike Benson released this, right? And I still haven't, haven't seen, like, somebody like Earl or, or um, Stephen Espinosa say it was coming up or whatever. But they, they wouldn't let the cat out the bag like that for their own event. Only other people do that type of stuff. If it's your event, you trying to be surprising as possible. You trying to like, boom. Yeah, I thought it wasn't gonna happen. Boom. You know, that type of time, you know. That's what you would wanna do more of a surprise because it hit a little harder. That's why last time around, it was a little spoiled a little bit because it was a bunch of fake rumors coming from so many places that you know, it kind of watered it down a little bit. You know, you couldn't, you ain't know what was real, what was fake out here in these Boston streets. But Mike Benson report said that Earl Smith versus Terrence Crawford is reportedly uh, final and uh, supposed to be announced on Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia pay-per-view card. It's supposed to be announced. Now, I'll say this, because remember, I don't know anything. Usually, a lot of pay-per-views do get announced on other pay-per-views or whatever. Um, like, big fights usually get announced. You know, that's a way to, I say, uh, take advantage of your situation, sort of say. Like, if you already got a fight, why not? I got all these people attending and all the people watching. Why not get them something else to look forward to while they already pumped up and excited for this? You know, just a treat. So that's how I usually be planning out. But I made this video yesterday talking about how Earl Spence, you know, didn't want to lead the 147 division until he got what's his from turning Doug Crawford, which is the uh, WBO belt, because Earl Spence feels like the 147 division, his division. So just leaving that mug without, you know, getting there, doing everything he said he was going to do. Would probably feel like unfinished business to him. So you gotta understand why he would want to pursue some, you know, keep pursuing after it didn't happen the first time around. Now Terrence Crawford thinks he has the edge because he got a tune up. So that that kind of boosted his self esteem, made him feel like ah, bitch, ass man, what you mean? I just got a tune up, tune up, tune up. So <laughs> that was the type of time bud on. But Earl Spence, like I said yesterday, he in the same shape every time I see him, bro. He got, he he literally, from the leading up to the uh, Ugas fight, you remember how he was in shape? We like, that, that nigga is in shape the whole time. He worried, he about to really hurt Ugas. I was saying that. And a lot of other people were saying that too. Because he looked like, bro, was working hard now. From that period to now, I ain't seen him, I seen him basically in the same shape. Them guys like to work in silence over there, man, because nobody told me this or nothing. This is just my own feeling. I feel like the reason they be over there in silence over there in Earl Spence camp a lot because they ran across a few bitch-ass dudes early on. So, it, sometimes it kind of like, you know, you just get a girl or something and she just a retarded bitch. You like, man, I, I, I ain't fuck with no bitches like that no more. So, it's kind of like that fat, but a little different. <laughs> so, so, uh, we was running around this motherfucker doing his thing. Invited a nigga, you know, showing love to the boxing media, just doing what he, what, what he do. Invited boxing voice, you know, and them niggas came over. But then, 
This is what I don't like about some of these media dudes. These niggas is hoes. So I don't understand how y'all can this. Cause some YouTube niggas some hoes too. Some YouTubers, they definitely some hoes. But some of these reporter niggas, man, these niggas is some hoes, man. Listen, you invited a nigga over, got some good footage and everything, and all of a sudden that nigga go on this on his program on the boxing voice, and here he go. Earl Spence is 180, 190 pounds. Da, 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 da. Running them dick suckers. And, and Earl be like, man, I don't like these bitch ass niggas. They, I be showing these niggas love and everything. They switch up like some little hoes. And then not only him, it was some other guys too, by the way. But we ain't gonna go into all that. But if Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford is made, man, that's definitely what's up. And I think it's actually smart to, to wait after the Tank and Ryan fight because I don't know. I think I would be wanting to see this Earl Bud more than the Tank and Ryan because I know Earl going to pop his eye. I know Earl going to pop Bud eye. He's going to take his eye. I know this. But then I do know, I also know Tank is about to knock Ryan Garcia's head off. He knock his ass out, bro. So I don't want to be wanting to see the eye get popped out more than the head get knocked out. So I'd rather just go ahead and get this tank fight out of the way. Tank do his thing, show out, show niggas. Yeah, I can't fuck with this. You know what I'm saying? And then move to the side. And Earl come, come in this motherfucker and have him some business. The big business. You hear me? But because of this. I think it's more people that think Bud can can be Earl than than what Ryan can think. Ryan can do the tank type shit. But I don't give a fuck either way. I'm riding with Tank for sure. I know he's gonna do his thing. And I'm definitely riding with Earl for sure too. So y'all already know what it is, man. I hope damn I hope this true news or whatever, that's what they saying. I ain't heard you no know, uh caps. Emojis or nothing like that. Then retweeting the post or nothing like that. So from the fighter, but so I believe this shit. But you still gotta keep on a certain level, cause, cause the duck still, you know, the duck is unpredictable. So you never know. Sometimes with the duck, the duck still might try to, you know, type shit. He might try to, you know, squeak away type shit. Go out that back door, the side door. The window, you know, you never know. See bars, man. But <laughs> you can't wait till the uh, fight happen, man. That'll be what's up, bro. They say what they say, June seventeenth, right? Which is the day after. I mean, a week after Juneteenth. You know, niggas, and you know, you got these goddamn uh, mighty morphin, goddamn ninja storm. Power Rangers running around. They love talking about the Juneteenth day for you. Ago, so I hope they still loving the Juneteenth. <laughs> but whatever. Right? But, but yeah. So they should be happy about that Juneteenth day, man. That, that's really what's up. That, you know, we got two black fighters fighting a week after Juneteenth. I don't think that was done on accident. I think that was purposely done. But that's just my thoughts on it. I think that was purposely done, though, for sure. But either way, man, being in the summer, we, Bud fan might get his ass knocked out in the middle of the goddamn Vegas strip for talking shit. You know, it's going to be hot. <laughs> you never know. You heard me? But yeah, that's what I'm talking about, though. Got the fight. Better be what's up, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. Damn. Let me know what y'all think. And subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. And I'm out, y'all. Deuces.